All right, today we have a day 15 training camp recap. And who watched practice today from the sidelines was none other than the Detroit Red Wings head coach, Derek LaDonda. Hopefully I said his last name correctly. And former Detroit Lions safety, part of that 2014 number two overall defense in Glover Quinn. Also, injury news, we had who was out. Maurice Alexander, Denzel Mims, Mims and Mohamed Ibrahim limited in practice only to individual drills was Trinity Benson and full participants back at practice was Aiden Hodgson, Jamar Jefferson, Craig Reynolds, Cam Sutton, Brady Breeze, and Daryl Daniels. And who got injured today was, hey, hopefully it's all right. But they did not return was Amon Ra St. Brown, or I'm sorry, Amon Ra St. Brown and Jamison Williams. And who also was injured today but returned after talking to the medical staff was Panay Sewell and Dylan Drummond. Again, we is uh, hopefully it is nothing serious with Amon Ra St. Brown and Jamison Williams. Definitely a scary situation because that is our top two wide receivers. Say what you want about Jamison Williams, but let's let's keep it a hundred. First first round pick, he's technically our number two. But with that being said, hopefully it's nothing serious. Hopefully it's just precaution because we want to keep Amonra St. Brown as healthy as possible going into that Chiefs game. But now my notes on this for the Detroit Lions. It is Nate Sudfeld was a lot better today. He did have an interception that was to Darius Williams, who got the pick. Now, Nate Sudfeld, like I said, had a better day today. He did have touchdown passes to Chase Cota, Craig Reynolds, Antoine Green, Sam Laporta. The best touchdown went to Chase Cota, where he zipped the pass to an emerging Chase Cota. So, Great to see Nate Sudfeld kind of shaking off the what the you know media and what us fans are saying about him. I still think he's trash, but at least he had a better practice today. You know, he's trying to fight for that number three spot because let's be real, that is Teddy Bridgewater's job at the number two spot. But Jared Goff struggled today. He did have an interception to Devin Lloyd, who almost had two interceptions on Jared Goff, which Goff, what are you doing, brother? You're a starting quarterback. We can't let these guys, Devin Lloyd's of the world, get no interception. Now, no disrespect to Devin Lloyd. Devin Lloyd is a certified dog. And, you know, hey, he showed it today against the Detroit Lions in practice. Now, Goff did miss Daniel Helms. That would have went for a touchdown, but just missed him. And C.J. Gardner-Johnson, y'all already know I'm in love with this kid. Got into another fight today with the Jacksonville Jaguars. He talked trash after knocking Travis Etienne with a ginormous hit. And y'all already know I love, you know, the little scuffles. Nobody was injured, but you love those little scuffles where, you know, C.J.'s talking trash, gives a big hit, and, you know, hey, it's football, baby. You know, but CJ also forced a fumble and another hard hit on former Detroit Lions return king, Jamal Agnew. He did have a big hit and forced a fumble on him. Now, Kelvin Ridley did have some, or a little bit of revenge when he flew past CJ Gardner Johnson, and then CJ Gardner Johnson did break up that pass. So, you know, was it really revenge or was it, hey, I'm going to blow past you? But you're going to still get the, the pass to flat. So, good to see that a little bit. Now, Brian Branch did get a sack on Trevor Lawrence. That pass was intended to Evan Ingram. Definitely love to see Brian Branch being all over the field and doing what he does best. And that's, you know, tackle for a loss, sacks, and hard hits, and, and just a little bit of everything. That's Brian Branch in a nutshell. So, I definitely love to see that. And... Teddy was comfortable comfortable today in practice. He had a lot of connections with Dylan Drummond today. And as you know, like I said earlier, Dylan Drummond did lose, uh, did leave the practice for a minute, talked with the medical staff. They checked him out. He was good to go, returned to practice. But he had a really good day, and a lot of that had came from really Nate Sudfeld and Teddy Bridgewater. So 
Good to see that going on in practice today. Now, James Mitchell did have a rough day at practice, had multiple drops. You know, a guy that could be fighting for that second spot at the tight end room, you definitely got to bounce back, man. You got to be able to secure them passes. And when you secure those passes and not drop them, that's going to help the team move the sticks. Like, come on, man, what you doing? But, hey, you know, I got to give a, a, a little sound bite for that. And, you know, hey, James Mitchell. Come on, man. Come on, man. You got to get those passes and, and not drop them. Now, a lot of work today came from DeMont, a.k.a. David Montgomery and Sam Laporta. They kind of got a little bit more work on their plate today. So I don't know what's going to go on with tomorrow's practice when it is regarding, you know, David Montgomery and Sam Laporta. But, you know, good to see those guys kind of getting a little bit more reps. You know, as Detroit's going to start scaling some of these guys back due to, you know, preseason games, you kind of want to get them a little bit more work in practice. So good to see that. Now, the best performance today was by Khalif Raymond. And then it was Chase Coda. You know, Khalif Raymond was just all over the field. You needed a first down, picked it up. You needed, you know, a pass to get the first down and out of bounds. He did it. You needed this. He gave it to you. Like, he was just all over the field. Good to see. Shout out Khalif Raymond. And then Chase Coda, like I said, a couple touchdowns. And, you know, really got himself acclimated to, you know, the controversy at the backup position. I mean, yeah, we say Nate Sudfeld is battling for number two. But, you know, you got a new quarterback in as, as well with Teddy Bridgewater. I mean, this is his second practice, things of that nature. So, I mean, it's good to see him having a good practice and getting himself into a rhythm as, you know, hey, you see I'm wearing 88. Yeah, it's a TJ Hawkinson jersey, but your boy, I would, I would want to, Return this and get me a Chase Coda 88 because that man has has showed some awesome stuff going into uh, the preseason week one. So hopefully he continues that. What is that on Saturday against the Jacksonville Jaguars? Hopefully we see some more of that. And on the defense, Jack Campbell, he was definitely a bright star today uh, with his stout tackling, quickness into throwing lanes, his footwork, change of pace, and he definitely helped in the run game. So you love to see that out of a rookie. You know, back-to-back -back joint practices with different teams against our own team, things of that nature. You love to see that stuff. But let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. What's your thoughts on day 15 of the training camp recap? I definitely would love to hear your thoughts on it. And with that being said, y'all already know what to do. We are trying to grow this community. And with that being said, I will see you in the next video because grit don't quit. One prod, baby. Peace. Day 15's in the books, baby. I'll be at practice tomorrow. If you're there, definitely I want to see you. Shake your hand and get you on my community tab. So come say what's up to your boy.